Pokemon 3 and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode, we arrived here at the Hoenn University of Film, which is the only school beyond trainer school to ever be in a Pokemon game, I guess. And we also walked onto the sets of many people and were told that we had to go find Godot and get a visitor's pass, which I assume is just going to be one long drawn out joke or reference to Godot and waiting for Godot. Please report to Godot, I'm guessing we are a visitor, and apparently he is in the classrooms. I like how I managed to forget the word, word uh, if I could speak properly for once, which I don't think that's ever going to happen. We've just walked up into the classrooms now, and we're, he's apparently going to be in one of these, so let's just start from left to right. At many points during your journey, you've smelled the odour of death. Is that how you spell odour? I mean, I know I'm from the UK and we do have use in, in words like favourite and colour, but does t does Oda have one? I don't know, at any rate, it's never boded well. Since that same Oda is coming up these stairs, you decide to steer clear, or oh, it's... You decide to steer clear of them, okay? So le let us head into this classroom. Come back. This is the Film Theory class! We're learning about, well... Film theory! And yes, I know they don't actually shout shout those words, I just found it funny that it was that. I just found it funny that it made it seem like they were. I'm studying some double abyss structure. Want me to tell you about lit? Shouldn't it be it or lit unless he's on about literature? It's where you see everything as the characters do. Like when it's dark in a film and you can't see anything either. Interesting, huh? Okay then. Hey, wanna hear about my notes on empathetic and unempathetic sound? Empathetic sound matches a film, like something by Nell played over a depressing scene. I don't know who Nell is. Is that an actual filmmaker or is it just an in-game one? The opposite is unempathetic sound, like the happy music played in the intensely frustrating Inquisition boardroom. Oh, I know that all too well. Of all special effects, the Praxis effect is definitely the best, don't you think? Sure. Yes, yes, we're of one mind. I love you, man. Um, what happens if we say no? No? No! What is this madness? But this can't be right. Are you sure you know what it is? I don't, actually. Oh, thank God. The Praxis effect is where a massive circular shockwave blasts out through space like when the Death Star explodes in Star Wars. So it's the coolest now. Oh, I, th I think I actually know what he means, thinking about it. Saying that, which which Star Wars did the Death Star actually blow up in? Was it four or five? Because they're the only two I've seen. Right, so this is the actress class. A blueprint, okay then. I've got all these notes on a post-war painting movement known as lyrical abstraction. I think I've been going to the wrong lectures. Hmm, considering I'm guessing this is an actress's class. Somehow I don't think, I think, wait, art? I mean, unless she's been, unless she's gone to like a cinematography thing or, I don't know, movie poster artwork, I don't see how there could be art in this one. Oh well. This is actress class. We're learning how to be pathetic shadows of real people. Game, really. Pathetic shadows of real people. My handwriting is so bad I need to photocopy someone else's notes. Boy, I'm glad that was there. <laughs> right. Ooh, this is a mixed gender class. Ooh. In this class, we aim to bond closely with our actresses to further our project. <sighs> you can tell what he's trying to further. Here, the film students ch chat up the actresses and call it a class. Just what I was saying as well. <laughs> I've heard of a Pokemon that steals gun from corpses, guns from corpses on the battlefield. Is that true? I don't know, but it sounds cool and maybe we could even use it if it is true and we do find it. Godot? He's not here. We're all waiting for him so class can begin. I think maybe he went to the dorms. See, <laughs> my prediction was right. This is just going to be a long drawn out joke or reference for waiting for Godot. But that dude right there said he was in the dorms, so... Unless unless we can magically go in there now, well, let's go into the dorms, I guess. Accommodation. If you don't go in their rooms, they won't go in yours. 
Yes, and we can magically go in there now. This is not an area for visitors. Oh, and it's one girl with a F. Let's see if I can. Hmm. Well, I was going to say, let's see if I can double team so it constantly misses, then I can just. Then I can. Oh, okay, that, that plan failed horrifically. Right, let's try and poison. Poison, please. Nope. We are royally anus, aren't we? Oh, wait, fire pump. We can burn it. There we go. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Since it went so. Right, Tilly, I need your assistance after that awful, awful, awful battle. No. Oh. I mean, my low tick with the high special defense were bad enough as they were, but since they've had psychic added to them, that just makes them even worse. Hey girl, wanna come in our dorm? <sighs> no. I'm guessing I can't sing though this is immense. You're a girl. Based on the attitude of the film student to your left, it seems unwise for you to enter a room full of similar men. Ooh, an item. TM30. Is that, is that normally Shadow Ball, I'm thinking? Is it? Game? Yes, it is. Can anybody learn Shadow Ball, actually? Ooh, Lydia can that. Ooh, and Scott could. Ooh. I think... Normally, it would be good for Malia, but since this is Gen 3, Shadow Ball is technically still physical. Hello. Shadow Ball is technically still physical, so it would be sort of wasted on, wasted on Malia. So, I reckon, unless... Unless Lydia All or... Alright, so here's a thing for you. Apparently, I recorded the entire episode, yet for some reason only about six or seven minutes has actually been recorded, so... And as another point, it for some reason saved halfway through, so, um... Yeah, I'd... I just went over the footage and we've been through... We went into the student... Co well, no, we... Uh, let me start that again. We went through the classrooms, got told to go to student accommodation, in which, in which, within the recording, I actually did, and spoke to everyone. I say everyone, but uh, da, 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 words not my strong suit. But yes, we got given an emolga from one of the women in the dorm that we went into. And we got given a visitor's pass from Godot, and it was in fact one big drawn out joke for waiting for Godot. Unfortunately, for some reason it didn't record, and I'm not entirely sure why, so I am sorry, but... At any rate, we've been allowed to head up here, even though I've already done this. I don't know, well... I've done it in... I've done it in the other recording, but only six minutes of it actually recorded. So, I technically haven't done this on film yet, so anyway, let us do this again. Oh, who are you? I'm Tori. Professor Burt sent me here to see if everything's okay here. If I'd like to use the word here anymore in that sentence. How timely. You see, everything is in fact not okay here. Uh, what's happened? In the basement, our researchers were working on an experimental camera that can make an entire film by itself. Doesn't that render filmmakers and thus yourself obsolete? Ugh, I wish I'd thought of that earlier. Anyway, the point of this is that the camera is too intelligent and has begun slaughtering researchers. This is unacceptable, so could you go and stop it, please? Do you always ask complete strangers to fight homicidal robots for you? Well, you look strong, and to get air from Birch, you must be powerful. Okay, so let's, let us go. And since we do have the time in this episode, let us go fight that super experimental camera. And if you remember, I say remember, it was probably on like two or three minutes ago for you or five or whatever. It is down that hole, if you want to call it a hole. There were the o death odor stairs, basically. And I'm actually going to, um, well... Blah blah blah, words, words, words. Bzz, 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 whirr. Yes, this camera is technically a Pokemon, and yes, you can indeed catch it. 
A wild X32763 appeared. Now, um... If you do know, this is an electric slash steel type. So... I'm thinking I could use it, but... If I do remember in the... When I got to the Elite Four, or like in the later game... Uh, da -da -da, words, words. When it got into the later game, I sort of remember it going a bit obsolete. <laughs> Technology obsolete. But I honestly cannot remember, so... I'm thinking I might want to catch it, but I'm not sure. Actually, I'll just take a look. How many Pokeballs do I have? Oh, I've got a few. A few being the literal word here, so... I'm actually going to cut, make a cut, save the game in battle here, and then get to a point where I feel I can just save and reload multiple times. Oh hey, guess what? Oh, for broken. But guess what? I caught it in a regular Pokeball after using all of my other Pokeballs. So we've caught the X32763, the artificial Pokemon. Little is known about this artificially created Pokemon as the project was kept secret, but it is known to be extremely powerful. So yes, this is the electric Pokemon that I've been after, or an electric Pokemon that I was after. Oh dear. As far as Nick, Nick, Nick Neps, I know the two like remaining names I want to give to my two remaining slots, and one of them, the first of them being Derek, given to the camera which we now own. Not- wow. Steel electric, but not hit by ground type moves. So that means it's weak against fighting and fire, isn't it? It has the hold item of electric honey, which, if you remember back in New Morville, that actually heal- not heals- increases power of electric type moves. It knows hyper beam, which is obviously hyper beam. Discharge, which is obviously discharge. Iron slam, which is- I don't- ooh, that's a weird one. 81 accuracy. But may lower defense and it's a physical steel type moves. And data stream that's 100 power, 100 accuracy that always goes first. Right. We desperately need to see Tilly after that fight. Right, Tilly. My free healing woman. Thank you. Right. Oh, and actually, Derek is also our strongest team member. Also, treat Derek as if he's male. Because that was the idea, but... A lot of the electric Pokemon in this game are genderless, but we're, we're treating it as if it's a he. So our new man, the new man in our life, Derek. Okay, so I've beaten that evil camera. Do I get a reward? A reward? Most people have rewarded me on my journey so far. Well, I won't. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to attend to the gym I inherited from my sister. And if that wasn't shady enough... I'm leaving this episode here, so thank you for watching and joining us. Joining, well, I guess the whole team. So from me and Derek, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I will, and we will see you next time on Pokemon Snakewood. <laughs>